Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a Cruelty for You YouTuber <laughs> that is trying to have a year-long no-buy. And today I am going to do a get rid with me, an update on my no-buy and just talking about feelings I've had this year so far and also I'm going to take out some new products and I actually think that I will okay we will talk about that and I will also talk about two favorites that I've had and one favorite that is growing on me but yeah I think we just get started I hope t um, this is not too much bothering but I feel like I want some light in the background I don't know I will see in the editing how it will be and I hope that you don't hear the fan too much. Maybe you start to listen after it now because I mentioned it, but it's so hot and I cannot film a video without having the fan on because I'm going to pass out then, I think. So yeah, um, I am going to use this The Nomad palette from Uvious Place today. It looks like this. I think I've used this two times. And I do really like the color story, so I thought maybe it's time. I'm going to talk, I don't know how much I will talk about my no-buy, but I will talk a little bit about it. And also, I have started to think about decluttering things that I don't <laughs> like that much anymore. And we can start with this one. This is the Tone Activator. From Kaleidos. This is their eyeshadow primer. I do not like this. I did use up my Milani eyeshadow primer that has been a favorite of mine for so so long. I do really love that. But this one... I don't know. First off... I haven't figured out how much to take. Um, for it to be really good. I've tried taking a little amount, uh, more, and nothing is working out good. So I am actually... Um, it, it's working, but... Okay, I need to take this one. I just don't like it and I think that the colors gets a little bit off what I'm used to and uh, even if I use like okay we can take yesterday for example I did do a look with my side-by-side -side palette and I did use only two shades half time and beauty mark and it doesn't feel like the colors are as they have been before and the only thing that I've changed is my eyeshadow primer and as well um, I did have that makeup on for maybe I don't know me and my boyfriend we went into town I was buying a new shampoo and uh, it was hot yesterday but not like crazy hot but uh, when we came home, my eyeshadow had creased. And with my Milani eyeshadow, nothing has ever creased on me. It doesn't matter how long I have had eyeshadow on, it has never, ever creased with my Milani eyeshadow primer. And uh, with this one, it did crease. And I also had it on Midsummer. Uh, a couple of weeks back and then I had a shimmer as well I did use the side by side then as well and then I have then I had a shimmer on and it did it didn't crease because yesterday it was like the eyeshadow here was all gone when I got home and uh, on midsummer that shimmer that I used 
was just like in a fold and I did never experience that with the Milani eyeshadow primer so I don't know but at the same time I'm like thinking I mostly use makeup on YouTube and not that much in my day to day life so maybe because it it takes a couple of hours before it starts to crease but at the same time am I going to use products that I don't like? I don't know so I think I might will declutter this one because I have tried I have tried so much with taking more, taking less letting it sit for a while but maybe it's just not for me so I actually think that I will declutter that one and I think I have a new another one from NYX and try that one and see if that works better but if it doesn't I will declutter all that I have and just buy the one from Milani because now with my no buy I want to buy only like refills but at the same time I don't want to use makeup just to using it up even though I don't like it I don't see the point in that so we will see what I will do other than that <laughs> my no buy is still going good I have bought uh, or I did use I don't know if I have talked about this and I don't know if it, this is even interesting in the town where I live our body shop has gotten these refill things you know you can buy a refill bottle and then when it's empty you go back and they refill it and you pay way less and we have our body shop in the town I live has gotten that and like in the beginning of the year so yesterday it was time for me to fill up my conditioner then I've also bought some other hair products because I need to okay I am starting to try to do more things with my hair and make it more fun so I have bought a hair mousse it hasn't arrived yet and also a styling spray a fixing spray because in my previous hair journey the only things I have gotten is a stronghold hair spray and then um, dry shampoo and a heat protection so yeah I finally start to realize that if I want to have a fun set of hair, I need to do something about it. Okay, I don't know if this was what I expected when I started to do this makeup. I have no idea. I don't know what I want. Maybe I should just take a brown. Maybe I should just take this one, but it's kind of dark, but maybe that's going to look good it feels like i'm completely out of this filming thing and also like speaking english but um it has been a lot the latest with work because people are going on vacation at my work and i've been working a lot and i haven't had any energy to film and uh, yeah i just I don't know it just hasn't been any videos and I have had a little bit of um, it has not felt that great but it is what it is and I have been so shitty again answering comments and posting on Instagram and everything but life it's a little bit okay I'm just longing for my vacation at work it's four more weeks and then finally 
And so I'm going on vacation in August and I want it to be August now. I I talked a little bit to a friend about uh, that vacation is starting soon. And I was like, I have been going on energy drinks and stubborn, me being stubborn for like a couple of months now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this vacation couldn't come more. I just want these four weeks to go by really, really fast. So I can finally have my vacation. And yeah, did I say that I was going to talk about some favorites that I have had? It's not that much makeup favorites, but I'm going to talk a little bit about makeup soon. But I have had a new skincare favorite. Um, it's <laughs> summer and I needed a new sun SPF. A new SPF, yeah. So I bought this one. People have raved about this. Uh, people that I follow on Instagram. This is a Korean brand, it's Dr. Shurkle, and it's SPF 50. And uh, this works as a face cream as well. And I have been loving this. I've been using it a couple of weeks now. And I do really, really love it. So I use that as a day cream and as my SPF. And that works amazing for me because as short as I can make my morning routine, I will try to do that because I right now at work I start at six o'clock so I'm up pretty early so I'm so happy about that and it has been working really good with my skin and I I'm not out that much <laughs> in the sun but like yesterday I was and it worked really good under my makeup and also I did not burn so on this one I do love it and uh, another favorite that I have had I don't know if I talked about this but maybe is this heat brush from Revlon I love this one this has been the only thing that I have dried my hair with since I got it I don't use it on my bangs though because <laughs> then I guess it would look a little bit crazy okay it feels like I want something gold maybe I should just take another palette so don't think I will use this maybe I should just take another palette and mix things am I allowed to do that yes so maybe I can take something from the magic palette because here I have this this is one of my favorite gold shades I think this will look good. And this palette is so freaking big. They came out with a mini magic and I wish so bad that I bought that instead. But I think I bought mine before. There even was a mini. Okay, I do like this look. Maybe I should have used gold jewelry to this oh, yeah. who am i do i usually mix things yes i do and if you wonder if i ever had a fomo about anything yet during this no buy i actually haven't i am though a little bit interested to uh, the new lethal collection they're one up um, but I'm not going to buy it and also like LH Cosmetics did release an eyeshadow palette not that long ago that I'm also a little bit excited about but I'm not going to buy that either but yeah it has been some things the latest that has really They've really been wanting, but I'm not. 
Okay, so I'm going to do my face makeup a little bit with you, or my base makeup, my face makeup, my base makeup. And things are starting to run out. Yeah, they really do. Like this is the high gloss primer from NYX. I've been really, really liking this one. But uh, I don't think there is, I don't think this is in stock anymore, no good really much. I hate that when a product is starting to run out and you're like trying to squeeze it out and it comes a lot. Like it comes too much in one go. It just like squirted all over my fingers. I'm going to miss this primer so so much. I don't know why NYX do that like discontinuing things that people love and uh, I've been starting to use um, this one from Nabla the Skin Realist and I do really like it and I am going to use this one more when my Fenty one is over but this is almost empty so I'm going to use this today. So this is the East Drop from Fenty and I've talked about this before. Let's see if I can get anything out of this one. Do you hear it? I think this might be the last use I get out of this. I will try once more the next time I will do my makeup but uh, yeah I don't know. And this I can really recommend. The only thing is, I feel it's a little bit not super good for a drier skin. I am kind of dry, or I am dry, but I'm not like super dry. But uh, I have been liking it a lot. Like, I don't know what to do about my forehead now when I have bangs, because should I put makeup up there? I usually do a little bit, because what if the wind blows and my forehead is exposed? Wouldn't it look strange then if I don't have any makeup on it? Okay, the next thing that I'm thinking about decluttering is this one. This is the Born to Glow primer from NYX. It doesn't look that good on me anymore. It dries up my under eye area a little bit. So I think that I will actually decluttering this one even though it's not empty but I had it for a long time. So I'm actually going to use this one today. This is the Regeneration Uplifting Cream and Concealer from Nabla. I have it in porcelain. It's one of these sponges. It's coming. I don't know. Is there anybody that really do love these? I have no idea. Okay. Oh my God, this is getting so nasty. Now we will see how this will look. Also a first impression. Okay. So far. I do like it. I think it's a little bit lightening. Or uplifting, I'm sorry. It actually looks really good. I'm happy about that. I'm going to set these under eyes. Yeah, I think I do like this concealer so far. I will not have it on for so long today because it's kind of late. It's 7 p.m. and 
I will go to bed in a couple of hours, so. But as a first impression like this, I do like it. Okay, I'm just going to put on my uh, powder. <laughs> the rest of my face. And one thing I did forgot about having bangs is that your forehead, when you are warm, it's really sweaty <laughs> under this. Yeah, I could have figured that out, but I did not uh, pick up that. Okay, I do like this base. I do think, though... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I like this base. Another thing that I've noticed <laughs> when it comes to uh, my no buy and not buying new makeup is that I have some products in my collection that I do <laughs> really love but that I haven't used like enough and that feels really good to like rediscovering some of your older products and uh, I, I do <laughs> have to admit that uh, a little part of me it's like it feels strange to not okay you know like the joy to have a new eyeshadow palette like the joy to use it the first time and like really digging in and trying new colors and doing combos that you never have done because you have a new eyeshadow palette that thing I do really miss and I think it's kind of hard like to know what to use it is <laughs> I wish that I was better on it and I wish that I had some plan I have been thinking when I will start to film more again or whenever that will be if I'm going to try to have some more like theme weeks if I put up maybe three or four videos a week that I use a certain brand every week and just yeah, I don't know. Everything is just a little bit confusing for me right now when it comes to YouTube. And it feels like I have lost the spark a little bit. <laughs> but to be honest, it feels like I have lost uh, the spark with a lot in my life. <laughs> it sounds a little bit depressing, I know. Um... Uh, but yeah, okay, I'm going to use my absolute favorite highlighter. And I think that has been like the hardest with this no buy. Um, to know what to do on YouTube. Because even though I haven't had like a review channel, I have had a lot of first impressions. And it's really easy to do something with a first impression. It's really easy to know what to talk about. It's really easy to come up what to film if you have new makeup. And it's not that easy when uh, you don't shop any new makeup. And that's just how it is. I have chosen this myself <laughs> and I am going to make it. I believe in myself and uh, yeah, it just, it just is a little bit hard. Okay, should I maybe just do my eyebrows and my lower lash and a lipstick off cam and see if I come up with some more things to talk about. Doesn't feel like I've been my normal self in this video. I don't know what's up with me. I haven't talked English in like two weeks, so I talk some English at work, but nothing like having a long conversa conversation or monologue, which this is. But it's it's sometimes a little bit hard to come back to speaking English when you haven't done it for a while. I'm sorry. But okay, I'm going to finish this off and um, then I'll come back.
Okay, this is the finished look for my waterline. I did use Honeydew from Colourpop, it's super like my skin tone. <laughs> and for my lips, I used this old lip tonic from Kaleidos in injection. I think it goes kind of good with this look, maybe a little bit too pinkish, but yeah. And uh, yeah, I do like this look. I love this gold shade from Magic Palette from US Place. And I do like the Nomad Palette as well. I do think like the color story. I don't know. I, I do like the color story, but yeah, now I have it. Cat hair. This, this cat hair is driving me bonkers. So yeah, I guess that this was all for this Get Red With Me update on my no buy that still is going great. I don't know how this happened. I don't know how I did, how I have done this for a half year. I, I have no idea. But uh, yeah, I... I don't know what more to say um, other than I'm going to declutter some products. This concealer still looks really good and it feels good and if I'm going to be honest I have had this for such a long time so I just think it's time for it to go. It's supposed to hold for two years I think I maybe have had it for two years and yeah it, it, it doesn't it doesn't work good for me anymore, um, especially like yesterday I was so dry on my eyes it has like cracked and it has, hasn't done that before so I guess it's time for it to go. And with this one I do not know what to do with this. So far I think it's looking good but yeah I don't know. For YouTube maybe. I can have it but at the same time or maybe just like you know some mascaras they need like to dry up a little bit to work perfectly maybe it's the same with this it just it maybe gets better I don't know but I will keep using it and see if it's getting like a catastrophe I guess then I will uh, declutter that one but today so far it looks good so yeah, I guess that was all for this video. I don't know what I have talked about. I do not know what I have done. I do hope you like it though and I hope that I will see you soon. I hope it won't take super long for me to come up with any new videos. I have thinking about... I have been so bad at being active on Instagram as well. Um, but I've been thinking on being a little bit more like doing maybe not vlogs but a little bit like things from my day-to-day -day life on Instagram and um, just because some days that's yeah I don't know I have no idea I have no idea what I'm talking about yeah I hope you really like this video and if you want to have a super good sunscreen for the summer now I can really recommend this from Dr. Sherkel. Um yeah <laughs> that was all. I really hope that you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye!